Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So today is the day you are finally getting a tour of my library room. I am going to quickly zoom across my shelves. I will give you an overall view and then I will quickly zoom across my shelves and just show you what I have on there. I won't be pulling books out or anything or telling you much about the books, um, just if I've enjoyed them, if I have read them and probably putting myself on blast with the amount of books I haven't read <laughs> so yeah I hope that you enjoy the library tour so I will get to it so I'm going to give you an overview of the room first so this is my Hans Christine Anderson picture as you walk in um my mama gave me that when I was 13 absolutely love it then down here ignore those they are books that I'm getting rid of so I don't actually have and then you walk in there's a desk and here are all of the shelves down there that's just my TBR that I unwrapped for this month that I haven't read any of them yet because I have read all of these I'm currently on that one <laughs> and I have had to stop myself from crying to film this video whilst reading that one so which is number eight and yeah we'll uh, get back to that another time <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like and then as I turn so obviously we've just come through that door and there's the picture and then there's two more lots of shelves there and then over here is my little reading nook so if you see any videos where it's the plain background it's um it, i'm sitting on here and here is like all of my uh, um, neo magazines um there is graphic novels there is comics again there's like drudge dread and but we'll get to that in more detail when i show you shelf by shelf but yeah that's where all my comics and graphic novels live um, I have to be careful because obviously I don't want to be showing you where I live. But yeah, the window is there. This is where I keep my TBR cart. This box down here is what I need to send to KJ. And these are some books that my friends borrowed. These are a new haul. I have issues. Um, we have Shakespeare up on the wall. But yeah, that, that's like an overview of the room. So I will get to showing you each shelf. I will need to, I wanted to show you an overview before I start clearing stuff off because obviously I need to, the books that's recently hauled, I need to take off because that'll be for a separate video. But I will show you shelf by shelf by shelf of everything. So I'll start from the top shelf from the forest corner near the window where the Shakespeare thing was. Um, these are, the books on the top shelf there is no order to my library I really need to reorganize it but at the minute I am just putting things where you know it fits I really love the 10,000 doors of January on this shelf I absolutely adored that book the art of prophecy is amazing I cannot wait to get to the art of destiny I really need to get to that there is um books from book boxes in here there is duplicates from where I have brought them myself and then they've come in a box and I I'm not mad about it <laughs> then there is compass and blade compass and blade on this shelf because I did buy the book but then it came in a book box so you know um then there is some others I really loved tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow that was amazing yellow face that was incredible I loved that book um I loved once in future wishes by um Alex E. Harrow. That was a really, really good book. Um then we have the I'm getting these editions of the let me go in a bit closer. Of the Immortal Instruments. I'm getting these editions of them as they're coming out. I think I've already pre ordered the third one already. And then obviously this is um a Cassandra Clare and newer the newest trilogy. This is her newest adult book, which I am intrigued to read, but I still haven't got there yet. There is space, but as you can tell, I have got a hole to come, so that will be filled. 
Um, on this shelf, there is a load of Dorothy Coombson because if you know me, I absolutely love Dorothy Coombson. Her books are incredible. The older ones are more romance, like contemporary romance, and then she started going into her thriller era. <laughs> so, but highly recommend, love her books. Um, then we have The Recovery of Rose Gold. Um, this one was quite good. It was about a girl that's mum had Munchausen by proxy. So that was a really interesting read. I really enjoyed that. What else? Obviously, you've seen that I've just recently read this. I think I've read most of these. Yeah, I think I've read... Yeah, I've read all of these. Check me out. Look, I do read. <laughs> um, These are for a video I want to do where I read my... Cause other than the Molly Molly May one, I think I've read that. Have I read that one? I think I've read that one already. <laughs> but these ones, I want to make a video of reading like biographies and stuff. So that they they're waiting to be a video. <laughs> and then we have mainly Brandon Sanderson on this shelf, and um, we do have again like the Traitor's Braid. What that is that is annoying that it's not in the right order. Did not notice that. We'll sort that. But then we have the Scythe. If you've not read the Scythe trilogy and then they come out with um, Gleanings not too long ago. But if you have not read the Scythe by Nia Shrewsterman, I highly recommend. The third one in the trilogy was a little bit disappointing, but it's still worth a read. So I highly recommend that you do that. Obviously, with Brandon Sanderson, I have read Elantris. I have read the oh my god miss born trilogy i don't know why that came out of my mind but yes i've read the miss born trilogy and i need to carry on the rest because i i i have not carried it on yet which i don't know why and down here this is just a tin that we got in a book box and um, we have my folio society of hg wells so i have the time machine the war of the world and the invisible man i've read all three absolutely love these really adore these highly recommend if you like your sci-fi because you can see how much um hg wells's um influence has been on the sci-fi genre when reading his works and i absolutely love it then we have Breakfast at Tiffany's. If you didn't know, Breakfast at Tiffany's is one of my favourite movies of all time. I absolutely love Audrey Hepburn. I love that movie and the book is so different. I uh, I didn't like that as much as I liked the movie, but I still have it. It's a folio again. So then we have the Shakespeare's, the complete works of Shakespeare in these three um i got these when i first moved into my house as a moving in present from one of my mum's oldest friends absolutely love them absolutely love shakespeare these are the new cambridge medieval history and i inherited these from a relative that passed and i can remember going to help um like clear the house and stuff and i got so into i just like opened one and then started reading and then it was like you're supposed to be helping clean and i'm like oh sorry my bad <laughs> but yeah so there is these i like history books so we'll put that back up there so these these are some fantasies that my friend at work has recommended for me if you have read any of these because i know like this is one and two and then there's another one or something i don't know the different series is but the way that she described them that i would absolutely love down here we have some of my teenage books so we have the twilights and um, we have some of the brandon sanderson's which obviously go with these ones but these ones are paperback these ones are hardback it, it gripes me they're separate don't get me started <laughs> Um, and then we have A Court of the Vampire Queen. I read that one. It was okay. A little smart, but not the best. Um, then we have the Glass House. The, oh, what's it called? Morganville Vampire Series. I got these when I was younger. And you could get them from the works. And they did come in the, no, the three for six pound deal that they have going now. These came in that deal. So I got a lot of these 
other than the last couple because I think this one Midnight Bites is like a collective of the whole series and I have this one is signed and has a signed bookmark I got it from Waterstones so yeah I I really enjoyed that I was debating um not too long ago hello 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 so I was debating not too long ago if I would get rid of them and then I reread them and I was like no I quite still enjoy those so I'm gonna keep them until a time where I feel like I can get rid of them I'm sorry if you can hear noises beanies wanting <laughs> wanting fusses good girl um, then we have Trudy Canavan's this is what I started my YouTube journey reading this was the first box in January 2023 um, I was reading the Millennium Rule books it is not my favourite of Trudy Canavan's books. Um, I enjoyed this ser this trilogy of Trudy Canavan's a lot more than this one. I really, really enjoyed this. Highly recommend Trudy Canavan's and you will see my favourite of Trudy Canavan's later on. It's all there. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first lot of shelves. If you see any scuff marks... Um, it was from when we had the carpet fitted and they made a load of scuffs and it needs like repainting. We just haven't had the time to repaint it just yet. So yeah, I'll show you the next lot of shelves one second. I do have a couple of large books that's down the side. So I have a The Times Atlas of the World. We have a Vogue The Shoes because, you know, I like shoes. And then we have this, which is some of the artwork that's in the British um, gallery, art gallery thingy. It's got some beautiful pieces in it. We um, inherited that also. And this one. These are the next lot of shelves. This is the bottom. So I have some like fashion sewing um, vintage fashion all of that sort of stuff Um, I have like baking cooking I'm not good at it but it's there and then I have like health diet journals all sorts along there I love this oh I make the best cookies from this little book um I love this that my husband got me one year and it's the recipes to Ladri macaroons and I love them. Um, I really love these like cocktail books. So there's like Tequila Mockingbird and Gone with the Gin. So they are cocktails that are like around literacy. I love that. <laughs> um, then the second shelf up. This is Run Rose Run with Dolly Parton. I have read this one. Really enjoyed it. Um, we have The Book of Night by Holly Black. I... I got rid of one of my editions of this and I'm still torn whether to get rid of the second edition of it because I'm not overly bothered about the story so and then we have The Host which is one of my another one of my like teenage type books that I read The Animals of Lockwood Manor I really enjoyed that one The Mercies Made Me Cry really enjoyed that book by Karen Millwood Hargrave highly recommend there is some newer ones. There is some that was written by um, YouTuber back in the day, Marzia, um, which is a thriller, which did actually scare me. I have read Deep Light. I really enjoyed that one. The Winter Garden was really like magical. I enjoyed that. Um, the Magpie Society, I've only read the first one, I think. The Lessons in Chemistry, I loved that. Absolutely loved that. That was a really great book. Um, Girl in the Walls creeped me out. And then we have a Sebastian de Castell book here, just hidden. This one is Tales of the Great Coats. This is from the first series of Great Coats books. This is Tales Around Them. And he has now started, Sebastian de Castell has now started a new Great Coats series, if you've just seen my new haul. Um, Circus of Wonders, I enjoyed that. There is quite a few on here that I haven't read yet. I still need to. Then we go up a shelf and 
I have read The Invisible Life of Adelie Rue. I've got two editions of that. I've read Gallant. I have two different editions of that. They're just both really beautiful. Then I have Our Dark Duet and This Savage Song. I have not read those ones yet, but I am looking forward to reading them. This was a new one that we got in a book box, but it looks absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to get to that. So I wanted to put it in a place where I would see it more. So I would get to it. Then we have my Robin Hobb. <laughs> so this is all in the realm of the Elderlings. Oh, they're absolutely incredible. If you love fantasy books and you have not invested in the world of Realm of the Elderlings yet, holy bugger. If I recommend you these and you take this on board and read them, I will be amazed with myself because... <laughs> They are incredible, absolutely incredible. I highly recommend I this series. Oh my goodness, it, it made me sob. It made me laugh. It is so, oh, the heart-wrenching of the stories and the, the characters in there and Fitz's story is, oh, it's just amazing. So if you haven't read any Robin Hobb books yet, I highly, highly recommend that you do. So, yeah, that's my <laughs> speech on Robin Hobb. Absolutely love her. Then we have a, another shelf of randomness, which is like special editions and book boxes. Obviously, I do have my Thursday Murder Club books on here, the four that's in the series. So I have read all four of these. I really do love these books. I have certain favourites in the series, but... Yeah, I, I really love them. So if you like thrillers, which is set round four people in an old retirement village trying to solve murders and it is just the sweetest, comforting thrillers you ever did read, read those. I did read The Jigsaw Murders. I really enjoyed that. Um, have not read this one yet. Um, Let's see. This is going to put me on blast. Because I'm really excited for this one. I've heard loads of good things about Bonesmith. So I'm excited. These are a duet. And they are absolutely stunning. I did show them when I hauled the second one. I showed them both. But I am looking forward to getting into Amelia Wenzel's books. So I have those. So then up from these we have this shelf. Which again is a lot of book box ones and then ones that I've carried on from book boxes. So like this marvellous light we got in a book box and then I went and carried on the trilogy and got the other two, which I haven't read yet, really want to get to. We have this Woven Kingdom. I do have the standard hardbacks of these as well. Like I think some of them have got sprayed edge, I'm not sure, but um, because I want to annotate them. I have read the first two. I still need to read the third one. I really want to get to that. I think I'm going to reread the first two to get to this one. But absolutely loved this Woven Kingdom. Incredible. Then we have these two, which A River Enchanted. I think we got in a box and then I followed it on. Um, then we have Little Thieves and Painted Devils. Haven't got to either of these yet. We have God Killer and Sunbringer. I loved this book. So these two are these two, but with the sprayed edges out. They all have absolutely amazing sprayed edges, but this one has been tabbed to an inch of its life. So I really enjoyed that. And obviously I did get to meet Anna Kenner at a book signing, which was incredible. And I am planning on tabbing this one also. So I do need to get to that. It is one of my priorities of this year to read that book. Um, then we have um, Winter's Orbit and Ocean's Echo. Still need to get to those, but we did get them in a book box and I've just carried it on. I'm looking forward to this. I've heard really good things about Kerry Maniscalco's um, Throne of the Fallen, so I'm excited for that. Then there's The Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I haven't read these either. Oh my goodness, this is... Why are you making me film this? <laughs> but yeah, the, I need to read a lot of the books. Um, then we have Immortal Longings at the, up here. We have The Jasmine Throne and the follow-on to that. We have The Unbroken, again, got in a book box and I carried it on. Um, Only a Monster, Never a Hero, which again is in the same set. 
I haven't read any of them. Um, and then we have She Who Become the Sun and He Who Drowned the World. I really am looking forward to these. I <laughs> really need to get to these books. Oh my goodness. Then we have Sisters of Sword and Shadow. I can't wait to get to that one. The uh, Bear and the Nightingale. This is coming in a special box where you got loads of merch for the Winter Night Trilogy. But... They only brought the first book out, but I know they are soon releasing the second two in the trilogy. I am so looking forward to that. So I'm thinking once I get all three, sorry if this is really shaky. I am I am winging it. I do apologise. But um, I can't wait to get the second and third one. And I think I might do a reread of them because I loved those. The Last Tale of the Flower Bride, really enjoyed that book. Um, really gothic, loved it. Um if I Have to Be Haunted, enjoyed that one. Or The Dead Lie Down, really enjoyed that. Um, Midnight Murders, I don't think I've read yet. <laughs> then we have some of the new books that have been in recent boxes. Then we have these two, which are not, not been read yet, but I've heard good things about this one and I need to get to it. Haven't, uh, this one, I, did I buy this one or did it come in a box? I can't remember. <laughs> oh God this video this video but yeah so we have some chunkers down at the bottom i have heard really good things about this one so can't wait to get to that and then we have crimson moth i think that one is the standard edition of that book i do have another edition that will be coming up somewhere this is the second lots of shelving that i've just showed you Ah, there's the other, the Crimson Moth. So we have the Crimson Moth, we have Fall of Ruin and Wrath. I always want to say Wrath and Ruin. I don't know why it it just comes out. Then we have the Couple. Let me move my little mushroom. We have the Thorns Remain. So then we have Fred the Needle. I really enjoyed this one. Um, the Shadowing Glass. I enjoyed that. The Betrayals and the Binding by Bridget Collins. I absolutely loved these books. I brought them for a friend as well and she loved them too. These ones are really good. I think um, I haven't read the third one yet, but I really did enjoy the Dangerous Remedy and Monstrous Designs. But it is a trilogy. I enjoyed that. Um, this is another collective... The Winter Spirits, Ghostly Tales for Frosty Nights. I did read, I would have showed you, it would have been on this shelf lock, The Haunting Season. I did read that one. I enjoyed most of the ones in there. But the only thing is with short stories, I find if if you really love one, you, you wish that there was longer. <laughs> So, yeah, that was that's my um, only gripe with short short tales. But is it a gripe? I don't know. Then we have the Wolf Den trilogy. I have not read these yet. I'm really excited to do so. We have Ava Reads A Study in Drowning. I've heard such good things about it. This is on my like priority. I really want to get to this. And then these are the ones that I was telling you, like the standard edition of This Woven Kingdom that I've got because they some of them did come with beautiful... I think this one's just the normal and then this one is just red. I have the standard editions to annotate when I do my reread and finishing the trilogy off. Um, let me move my smudge in. <laughs> then we have more Dorf Coomson. These are... So we have a th uh, Thrillers. The Ice Cream Girls is a really touching, difficult read. And it is about being groomed when a teacher is grooming. It's um, really... It's really emotional read. I enjoyed that one. And there is a follow-on to it as well that's called all my lies were true so yeah there's that one um the girl from nowhere when i was invisible the friend as you will see all around i have oh don't fall off you will see around my library i have all of dorothy coomson's i would like it where i had space to store them all on one shelf but with them being different sizes even the hardbacks 
you just have to put things when you get to the amount of books that I've got to you've just got to put them where, where they fit on the next shelf up we have a lot of I'm um, sorry I'm working with natural lighting so if anything shadowed I do apologize um there is a lot of like non-fiction like um to do with like witchcraft there's one that's like journals so there's like poetry mindful journaling there is everyday calm so you can fill these ones in um there is some vex kings on here there is the, some meditation asking it is given i loved that book the untethered soul is one of my favorites um regarding like spiritual um workings i love those um let me move my ammonite <laughs> Um, then we have Ready Set Novel, which is helps you write your own novel. There is Journal with Purpose, and then there's Know When You Want to Write. I really enjoyed these. I did. I've, I've done a few of them. So when you want to write, but you don't know what to write, and you you just enjoy writing. So this gives these give you like scenarios of things to write about, and then you carry it on with your own imagination. So they give you like little tasks like um scenarios to do and then you can carry on writing i know some people might think it's a waste of time but i really enjoyed these you know when i want, really wanted to be creative and wanted to get out of my own mind and create something these really helped this isn't actually a book it is a diary it is a goal getter diary from p louise i seen on tiktok and i have not started this one i have it in pink also which i did use last year but i have the blue one ready and waiting these are my you would have seen these in previous videos these are the folders that i keep my book box art prints in so they are nice and safe in there. Then these two hold my annotating supplies, which is really helpful. So these are more like mindful, um, using the universe to attract things to you. The same with these. I've got like Oracle. I've got a lot of um, Matt Haig, Vex King and such. Um the happiness year is a good one. It shows you things that you can do in each season that can draw happiness. Um, then we have, like, you know, because, yes, fuck plastic. <laughs> um, ways that you can um, reduce your plastic, a use of plastic, basically, um, which I enjoyed that book. So on this shelf, it's more like my spell work, my like crystal books, uh, tarot books, all to do with like astrology, earth magic, herbs, crystals, all of that lives on this shelf and it does bleed down into these. But that's what this shelf is. Um, I have this one is my, the crystal code is like my crystal Bible and I have tabbed it and then information that I found on the crystals that are in this book and I find them in other books I do translate in this so it is a very annotated book if you could see that um but yeah then the, you have my book of shadows that is over here which I did show more in a video but I don't like to show too much of it because obviously it's personal then we go up a level so you do see these shelves in backgrounds of videos because i what i do is i move my chair over here so when you see these in the back i've moved my chair around here so then you know it's a better background than a window so then we have this shelf we have olivia blake's books i have only read alone with you in the ether that was incredible i cried I cried. It it was just an amazing romance story. I'm looking forward into getting into the Atlas Six trilogy. Um, I'm looking forward to one for my enemy and then Masters of Death. I've heard really good things. Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I have read the first one, not the second one yet. I cannot wait for them. Six Crimson Cranes trilogy. I have not read yet, but I am really excited to. A Fragile Enchantment. I have read. 
this was so good i really enjoyed this and it was such a beautiful book the it literally drew me in straight away um and i literally unboxed it from a book box and read it with within a few days of unboxing it so i love that and then we have bella donna which was like really gothic really enjoyed it um then we have the foxglove which i haven't read yet but i plan to i really need to get on with this and then from here to here these are the once upon a broken heart trilogy so we have once upon a broken heart and these ones are the standard editions which have been tabbed a lot <laughs> because i love this trilogy and then with my birthday money i got the really nice editions from fairy loot which are beautiful so i have those ones next to each of the books with the design on the stenciled edge outwards the hurricane wars is another one that i'm really looking forward to this jar is full of all of the books that i've read so far this year i top it up after every reading month so i get the little slips ready you will see them <laughs> later on and then I've got the other books that um, are on my TBR in here because I do plan to read them all. That little plant pot is from a subscription box. Then we have like my retellings, like my Greek mythology retellings, my Norse. There's all sorts. There's a, there's a mix on these two shelves. So I'll show you them both at the same time. Um, the Busk. The, um, this one is from Greece. This one is from a garden centre when we was out and we was looking for something like this for my shelves so um it was a present from my um in-laws which i absolutely love there is my folio society of the golden fleece then we have like all different books on mythology i really enjoyed lies we sing to the sea um i love robert graves books i loved the odyssey translated by emily wilson that was incredible highly recommend that um i've got more of them i really enjoyed the stephen fry books with uh, regarding greek mythology um we have duplicate copies of some of the books like the song of achilles and circe because i absolutely love those and i've got the hardback nice editions of those also i also have this edition of Circe also but yeah these are my Greek mythology mythology retellings shelves so yeah so that is those three lots of shelves done I really hope that this is this is what you wanted I'm being really vague I have got work tonight so I'm like trying to fly through my shelves as quickly as possible we'll start from the top this time um, these ones are all Sebastian de Castel. These are the Spellslinger series. Then we have the Argosy series. And then this one is the Bridgerton series. I love the way that these look. Um, I missed out on the first print, so I ended up getting the second print of it. But I'm so excited that I did. Then I brought this from a garden centre, which I brought the busk from. And this was also a present from my in-laws and it is the Bridgerton book of afternoon tea. And I think this is incredible. So you get different characters and then you get recipes and what you what they think that their like tea tea time would be set up as and you get to do them yourself. And I just love that. Um let me see, I think at the beginning it tells you there we go. These are like all of the characters that's in the book. So you can set up a afternoon tea as if you are part of the Bridgerton family. And then these I got from a vintage shop um, where it is the men's side of you know, being in this area where there's like courtship and stuff and where what they had to do because a lot of it is you find out what women have to go through like they can't be alone with men they have to dress a certain way um act a certain way to you know be courted and this is what like men have to do and it's written for uh, written by a man for men 
like back in the day so I really enjoyed that and then I also got this one this is more of a book that what happens behind closed doors of a country house so what the the footman is required what the maids are required stuff like that as you can tell I just really like that genre of book like that era of courtship and everything I I just I'm just really intrigued by it so they all live on a shelf together then we have Divine Rivals and Ruthless Vows absolutely love these and then this is Divine Rivals also but it was the TikTok edition with the quote on the side so I have that out next to them. These are all my TJ Klune. TJ Klune has fast become one of my favourite authors. Absolutely adored these two. This one I did I did love, but this one was a four star. These was five stars. I can't wait to get into the Green Creek series. So, you know, this is like a shift of romance. So I'm really excited about that. Then we have... The Zodiac Academy. So I have just read all of these. I am on this book, currently crying. <laughs> Had to take a break because of the things that happen in this one. Um, just it's an emo emotional roller coaster of a ride in this series. I will go across, but I will explain more later. But yeah, we've got eight point five, and then this is the prequels, and then these are the sequels to the series. So, and I have read the one to five in that series as well which is incredible and I think you get if you read these before I think after the third book I would say you get more of a insight into some of the characters that come in the later books and because they appear and anyway but yeah the Zodiac Academy, I don't need to talk about how much I love this series. It is incredible. It is so addictive. It's, um, as people, like a lot of people say, it's not written very well, but there is just something in these pages that is addictive and it just keeps you turning the page. And then this is my dreamy amethyst fairy that stays with them. Then we have some Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This one I did take and got signed when I went to see Jay Kristoff recently. But I love this trilogy. This is actually my favourite sci-fi trilogy ever. I absolutely adore them. And if you've not been on my channel before, I highly recommend that you read them along with the audio. It is such a submersive experience. It is incredible. And they are written in like mixed media format. These are my original copies. And then because I adored these so much, I went out and got the nice um, edition copies, hardback copies of them. The Aurora Cycle. I really enjoyed these when I read them. I have not read the third one yet, but I am planning on doing like a reread sci-fi reread with these these books so and then down here is more Cassandra Clare so you have let me move these out of the way so you do have the immortal instruments all down there and infernal devices and then we have the dark artifices in front of them I'm debating whether to get rid of these I don't know if I will actually read like the spin-off series books so I am debating whether to get rid of those. And then I also have the hardbacks of the Dark Artifices also. So yeah, there's those. These are just the books that I'm, I need to read this month. Um, on here we have um, the Dorothy Must Die series. I have not read. I bought them quite a while ago, like years ago now. And I have not read them yet. I really need to. Then I have the whole of the Why Mummies series. So Why why Mummy Drinks, Why Mummy Swears, Why Mummy Doesn't Give Up, etc. And then I read the new one in my Christmas Eve vlogs, which I really enjoyed. This series is absolutely hilarious. Um, then I have The Wicker King and The Weight of the Stars, both by Kay Ancrum. And they have been recommended and I still haven't read it yet. I really want to. If you notice, there's the edges, the, it gets darker. And that is supposed to represent the man's mental like stability. 
in it and I thought that was just really intriguing so I am actually really looking forward to getting to these two um I'm not sure what the what the first book is about but it has got a quite a cool detailed edge on it also I think this one came out first and then the other one but yeah and then I have the Giovanna and Tom Fletcher's Eve of Man and don't even get me started we have been waiting freaking years years and years I have had the third book on pre-order and I'm I'm just not going there because it's making me so angry and the second one ended on such a big cliffhanger obviously I've got my BTS the boys on my shelf then we have some more Suzanne Valenti and Caroline Peckham who wrote the Zodiac Academy we have some more of their books Den of Vipers I'm not even going there um, Fortuna Swan I really really loved these books I cannot wait to carry it on um, the Fever King and Electric Air. I think these are so underrated. I if like you like dystopian type books, these were incredible. So it's just a duology, and I loved these two books. If you're looking for some new ones, I highly recommend these. I love my time with those two, and I didn't realize how much I was gonna love them. And then I started them and I just could not put them down. Absolutely incredible. Obviously, I've I've spoke about this shelf with it being um, Zodiac and set in Solaria and stuff. So then we go up. We have Visions of Flesh and Blood. This is a new one that I've just hauled, which is to this series. I've read these three. I really need to carry on the series and the Flesh and Fire series. So The Serpent of the Wings of Night, I've read that one, really enjoyed it. I do need to read the two others. So this is the second one to it and then this is a little novella. But I really want to get to those. Um, a Deal with the Elf King, I really enjoyed that. I really want to get the second one. But it's really expensive in hardback and I really like the hardback editions of them. Then I have some Penelope Douglas. So we have Birthday Girl, Punk 57 and Credence. These are more forbidden romances like you your romances that are usually frowned upon forbidden romances and i really enjoyed them <laughs> i have carving for cara which is a smutty halloween book have not read that yet i did buy it to read last um spooky season but i think i'll probably read it next spooky season then we have haunting headline and hunting headline these are dark romances and please if you are going to read these look up trigger warnings because there is a lot this one is more like stalkery but this one has a lot a lot of darkness in it so please please be wary of that like Big flashing warning signs, trigger warnings, be careful. Next shelf, I do have the really nice additions with the the gold, gold aka yellow, um, sprayed edges. These are the Plated Prisoner series by Raven Kennedy. I have not, although I have gone out and bought all of the nice editions of them, I have yet to read them, but I'm really excited to do so. This is one of my editions of Empire of the Damned. Um, it is the Waterstones signed exclusive edition. Then I've got my Babel that we got in the locked library, which is absolutely stunning. I think this is one of the most beautifulest books ever. So yeah, um, the reason why Empire of the Damned is down there because I do have another copy of it up here twice <laughs> so this is the tour edition this is the illumicrate edition then i have my never night and then this is the uh, empire of the vampire the the illumicrate edition which i do have the waterstone standard edition but it is wrapped up on my cart and then we have some more Sebastian de castell books so we have kush of chaos which i haven't read yet and then we have play of shadows which is the first in the new great coat series that i mentioned earlier on 
so yeah that is all of those my goodness then we have my like nature dinosaur thing i got this from the natural history museum i absolutely love um triceratops so <laughs> that's that's what that is my friend got me the david attenborough like kids flip through book for my birthday because she just knows how much i love david attenborough i've got um charles darwin's which i got in um natural history museum which is a lovely addition um sharks and then loads of david attenborough jurassic park which i have recently read i absolutely love that book it is one of my favorite books ever um, these two are David Attenborough but they are I'll just pick one out but they are both signed by Sir David Attenborough himself these are some of my most prized possessions in my library because I am the biggest David Attenborough fan that, that there ever was so they are like prized possessions to me and then I have some poetry on like trees we move down and these are my Chilton classics so I'm trying to get it so you can actually see from the glare move that down a minute um so we have the Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre and then we have quite a few Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice is one of like if not my favorite love story of all time I adore that book Jane Eyre reminds me my mum brought me this copy and because we used to watch the BBC adaptation of this all of the time together when uh, my mum wasn't very well so that's really like sentimental to me that story we have little women we have a christmas carol we have the romantic poets dracula i read every year we have frankenstein we have the adventures of sherlock holmes and then the hound of the baskervilles which obviously is a sherlock holmes story so yeah, that's all of the Chilton classics that I own. Then we go down to a lot of poetry. <laughs> Langleave is Langleave is a big one of mine. I really enjoy her poetry. Um, so I've got a lot of Langleave. I've got a lot of Man uh, Manda Lovelace poetry. I have just a lot of poetry. <laughs> and um, there is more further down. And then down from the poetry, we have this shelf move this out of the way so we have legends and lattes and bookshops and bone dust times two <laughs> because i have the normal edition with the sprayed edge that has been tabbed and the same for bookshops and bone dust and then i have the two broken binding editions also because i loved the character art in this absolutely incredible then this one's on this shelf because i couldn't find anywhere else to, that it would fit and this is a why choose romance and it the it's a bind up and i think it's is it four or five books in one and it's her story of how she fell in love with each of the men and how they all come together then i have my fourth wing editions and iron flame um they they are tabbed i really love fourth wing who doesn't so i cannot wait to carry on that series i am so looking forward to the next one just down from there we have more poetry we have um carmen maria Mercado's books i have just read in the dream house this is incredible. If you like your memoirs and want to read one that is not like any memoir you've ever read before, this is incredible and it's on such a raw topic as well. It's um, abuse and same-sex um, relationships and it is just so eye-opening and so raw. I absolutely loved it. I'm looking forward to the her body and other parties also then i recently hauled hubert selby jr's um book some of his books which i am saving for like spooky season because i've heard that his books i mean one of them was banned um they are known for being like grotesque and i am really intrigued they are like modern classics i am intrigued to read those so much and um, we have another dark Simpson that's just slid in there this is 
her book when i say i'm obsessed was like no one world book day when you have like little pound books out i did hunt hers down um then we have claire keegan uh, honestly this book i i got so emotional look how small it is the emotion this book brought out in me oh my goodness like how i don't know how a book this thin brought such emotions out in me but oh my god did it pack a punch and her writing is incredible so i then went on and bought <laughs> more and then i've got more classics um in there then we'll go further down and this is more like translated fiction and books around like japan and asian cultures and stuff so i really love these books i one of my favorite books that i've ever read this one by will ferguson it's at hokkaido highway blues i absolutely loved it this is hilarious so if you like never really read travel books because i didn't this is i think this is one of the only but i do have another one that i'm really excited about when i first seen this i picked it up and turned to a random page while I was in waterstones in stratford upon haven and I read a tiny bit of it, burst out laughing, and then was like, I need to get this book. So I went and purchased it, read it straight away. It was absolutely hilarious. Great, great book. Highly recommend. Even if you're not into like travel books, but you love like Japan. Seriously, read it. It's hilarious. Yeah, there's a mix of all, all different books. I really enjoyed um, Convenience Store Woman. This, this is really good to open your like perspective on how people see you in society and what you have to do to be like accepted and not judged in society and like pushing against those norms really enjoyed that book that is all of the books on that shelving i am i'm not standing up because i'm gonna talk back down here again so these ones i've just moved this from the bottom but these are like books that are around like the survivors of outfits and um stories around that time i have been to so these two and i have there is a gap because my father-in-law still has um one of my books um that is like so many short stories from the survivors I got these two and that one from a Holocaust Center. So once my um, father-in-law is finished, I can put that back in there. But um, these are so soul-destroying and um, eye-opening for me because I am um, a very gullible person and I see, I try and see the goodness in everybody and then this it's just a shock to the system to realize that there is people out there that did these heinous atrocious things to others but yeah i find them really emotional but i like to make sure that i learn as much as i can about that time so there is those ones and then we have Sarah J Maas and Samantha Shannon. So we have the first paperback edition of House of Earth and Blood, which then they changed the design on and now there's new designs. I've got those ones too, but they're somewhere else. Um, then we have the Throne of Glass series, which I really want to get in hardback. Then we have the Akatar series, the Bone Season series, and then Priory of the Orange Tree. The Bone Season I am also getting in hardback, the new hardback re-released editions of them. So you will see them a little bit further up. But yeah, this is just Samantha Shannon and Sarah J Mass. So we have more Sarah J Mass on the next shelf. Um, Sarah El Arifi, The Final Strife Battle Drum and Feybound. I really can't wait to get to these. I really enjoyed these two. The first one is my favourite. Looking forward to getting into that one because of how that one ended. But yeah. So we have The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. We have the Illumicrate edition of it also. We have A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon and then the Illumicrate edition of it also. This is what I was just talking about with the 
bone season getting them in these new hardbacks which i really enjoy and then i have another copy of day of fallen night i don't know what happened there but it happened nonetheless so i'll put my sarah j mass thing back up there so this is the trudy canavans that i absolutely adore so i got these beautiful editions of them they are from Illumicrate and they are sprayed so i absolutely love the black magician trilogy from trudy canavan and i was so excited when they released these so these are the same ones in paperback then you get a prequel which i'm hoping that they bring out also but then you also get a sequel trilogy as well so you have some of the same characters in this one as you did the first one and i love them just as much i'm really hoping that illumicrate bring out the whole series in hardbacks because that would be so exciting because i love i love these absolutely love them then the next shelf up is more like gothic horror so we have Misery by Stephen King. This is a Folio Society one that my husband got me for Christmas one year. Um, a lot of Grady Hendrix. I go to the Peak District a lot and then one of my friends from work found a book that was to do with murders that happened at the Peak District. So, you know, just scare me a little bit more. <laughs> and then more Grady Hendrix. Um, there's ones on Horror Hotel, which is based on the Cecil Hotel in America then we have like your basic dark academia book so like if we were villains um there's witchy ones like hex um the hedge witch nettle and bone um there's all sorts there's um i, I enjoyed the wilder girls then um, that was a good one um i really enjoyed dowry of blood because obviously with dracula being one of my favorite books ever I really enjoyed that i enjoyed donna tart's the secret history although i did think that in the middle of it it sort of like dragged a little bit but then it picked up again at the end i enjoyed bunny that was just like you was on some sort of drugs like hallucinogenics throughout reading that one the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires was really good i really got creeped out by that in one scene of that and then so i'm just gonna scan through some of these because they are my husband shelves so these are books that we inherited um along with a lot of these ones they are all from folio society then he has his harry potters and um loads of like vintage books that we pick up we have more from the folio the lord of the rings are his favorite fantasy series and then he has got a lot of like warhammer special edition books um that he likes to collect and then we have more that we inherited um more of like his picks <laughs> his picks in in books so a lot of his are like bear grills Ant middleton so like the sas um books renal fines um i have read a lot of these and absolutely love them then we have like he has cookbooks because he is really good at, at cooking Um, he has a lot of like um travel books and like templar books and like roman empire and stuff like that this one is um sherlock holmes a nice edition of sherlock holmes he got for himself <laughs> i'm not going to go into detail with them because they're his books so but yeah they're they're my husband's and then these ones are also my husband's books so these are all by tolkien and he, he like i say he loves tolkien so he has i need to be uh, i'm not gonna it's it's very old and rickety but he has like the original bind up of all of them so then we'll get back to my books so these are some thrillers ones that i need to read i've read these two um i need to read the fury um i'm a bit apprehensive about it because i've heard mixed reviews um anna O, oh, i'm really looking forward to that this is the new dorothy coomson i can't wait to read um you would have seen i have recently hauled these 
these two I absolutely adored. I read this one, didn't realise it was like a trilogy series or whatever it's going to be. Um, I read this, I was like, oh my goodness, that was amazing. Brought this one, read it straight away and this one has just come out. So I cannot wait to get to that. I will be getting to that very soon. Um, I have not read this one yet. None of this is true. I read that and afterwards I was like, so what actually is true? <laughs> because that was really, really good. Really, really good. I, I highly recommend that thriller. So yeah, we have a mix of thrillers on there. Then we have just a random mix. This is the complete works of Lewis Carroll. Um, this is um, like a German Christmas, The Witching Tide, like witchy books. This is the new um, Mona Award who wrote Bunny. So I was intrigued to, to buy that. Um, a random book of phobias and manias. I, I'm just intrigued by how like the mind works. So... There's that, How to Kill Your Family. I enjoyed this. Um, I mean, I just enjoyed it. It, it wasn't the best, but I, I enjoyed it anyway. The Paris Apartment, that was confusing as as F. <laughs> because, yeah, it was good, but really, like, I was like, oh my God, what's happening? Then I have this um, special edition of the complete works of Hans Christian Andersen, which, again, is what my picture... <laughs> I'll give you a better view of that picture. What my picture is based on. Then from there, I have The Books of Ursi by Ursula K. Le Guin. I have read majority of these. I still need to finish them off. When my husband first built me my library, he brought me The Turn of the Screw um, as a you know new book to edition to add to the library, which was sweet. This is a very, very old edition of Alice in Wonderland. And then the anatomy book so this is like everything that could go wrong with your body and there is pictures so i'm not going to show but yeah it's all it's all in there then further down we have this that my friend made me i love love it so much we have zayden as the seven of moons that came in a fairy loop and he's just nice to look at so he just sits up there looking looking as he does we have some witcher books so we have vampire books so this is carmilla this is the original vampire book because people think dracula was the original vampire book but it wasn't it was this one so i read that i did enjoy it not as much as dracula but i did enjoy it then we have miss peregrine's home for peculiar children series i i i think i got to the third one I think it was and I haven't continued but I do plan on continuing because I found them so airy and unique. I really enjoyed those. These are some books that I got in a book box that I am looking forward to reading. Um, this one I really really want to read but I'm thinking to save it for spooky season. So I've got like enough books to wrap up for my spooky season when that comes around but yeah looking forward to those let's put our Zayden back up my present then down here we have the library of Shakespeare so com Shakespeare's complete works we have a book on earth book on the universe book on animals we have the dynasties which is the David Attenborough documentary um our planet then we have the Annotated Arabian Nights. So this was recommended to me by a friend at work. And it's Arabian Nights, but it's got so many like annotations in it. So it's like a story within a story of notes and stuff, which I just think is incredible. Then we have um, Literature Lover's Companion. It's got like loads of different writers in loads of different authors and what they have wrote in that one and then this one is the 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 book of s and it is a mystery book that has loads of little bits inside of it about these two people that one starts writing it in the margins of this book and someone else picks it up and they start writing back so you can read the book itself in its entirety. 
then you can go back and read like one set of annotations and then you can go back and read the second set or something like that but you have like code dials in it you have um, napkins you have random pieces of paper news articles photos postcards and stuff all all in the book to try and figure out who the author is that's what they are trying to figure out is who wrote the book and the book is made to look like an old library book and I have not yet challenged myself to read it but I really wanted it because I want to do it one day and I just think it's going to be really good like a really twisty book to read. This is a better look at the Hans Christine Andersen picture so he's writing at his desk and then all of his stories are coming to life as he's writing. I just love it. It's, it's my one of my favourite pieces of art that I that I own. So we'll get to these ones. Wee. <laughs> oh god. This is gonna last forever, isn't it? I'm so sorry, but you requested it. <laughs> these these shelves are more my from. Ugh. The more my romances, there is some contemporary, there is some fantasy romances. Then we go down into like thrillers and, and then like just fantasies and romance. There's, there's, there's a mix, there's a mix. So I'll just go through them. Um, so we have some Colleen Hoover, we have Beth O'Leary. Um, I am looking forward to reading Archer's Voice. I've heard that it's going to make me cry and I am looking forward to it. You know what I mean. <laughs> Um, we have Red, White and Royal Blue. I loved that. That was really good. I haven't read the other one, which is One Last Stop by the same author. Um, I have the first in the Shatter Me series because I was told that I might like that. So I have the first one because they're coming out in these nice hardback editions. I have the two of the Good Girl's Guide to Murder and Good Girl Bad Blood. So I need the third one. And uh, I think I've got that one on pre-order because these are the like nice new editions of them where they've got like the lovely edges on. Then The Upside of Falling I got in a book box. I have If He Had Been With Me and If Only I Had Told Her books. I have not read them yet. I have a Tessa Bailey. I've got quite a few Tessa Baileys. So, but I'm wanting to read this one really, really soon. It is on my immediate radar um then we have uh at first spy which sounds hilarious i think this one is going to be a really funny one then um we have more from the afterlight boxes and then xoxo um i just thought sounded incredible when i was recommended it then we have a whole ton of tessa bailey <laughs> So from there to there, we have Tessa Bailey. And then we have um, Ali Hazelwood. Then we have Emily Henry. We have Hannah Grace. And then we have some other Colleen Hoovers. And then at the back, we have Talia Hibbert's like, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, the, the Brown Sisters trilogy. Um, Say You Swear. We have a lot of Christmas books that I read in my Christmas Eve vlogs. Um, we have more of Beth O'Leary back there, which is the flat share. We have more Colleen Hoover's. We have My Dark Romeo and the new one that's just came out as well. We have the Priest trilogy, which, um, yeah, we have the Priest trilogy. <laughs> Take me to church. Um, and then these are the two editions of House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath. Um, the paperback editions, the new editions that they brought out that I was saying that I'd got the original one to. We have more romances. These are the more contemporary um, romance type ones from Dorothy Coomson. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, um, I have all of her books. So the I thought the romances would suit better over here. Um, we have the Spanish Love Deception. We have some new ones we have the 50 shades of grey they're not they're, they're not the best they're not best written but they're a guilty pleasure they're a guilty pleasure and um so are the movies and then we have some that i haven't read yet so we have the king of wrath series because i know that there's a fourth one um that's coming out 
Then we have the Binding 13, Keeping 13, Saving 6 and Redeeming 6. These ones are um, all in the Boys of Toman series. Toman series? Whatever hour of you say it. And there is another one coming out. I have pre-ordered it and I think it comes out quite soon. We have some that I brought when I was looking for um, some new romance authors. So I picked Tara do it because they those sounded really good then we have the Elsie Silver these are cowboy romance series highly recommend love these um I loved some more than others but you will see that in my reading wrap up that I just done I think it was my last reading wrap up it might be the one before then we have Lucy Scores I have not read these then we have like Pucking Around and Pucking Wild which is the Emily Raff um ice hockey romance that i really wanted to read then we have the fine print terms and terms and conditions and final offer which is a, another romance saucy billionaire romance series i think we go down and we have thrillers so we have just a load of thrillers really there's some like true crime in there as well it, my new obsession is um mj alridge I absolutely love this is the first one in the series and this one was kindly gifted to me by Angela and I, I owe her everything for recommending me this thriller series because I absolutely love it. I am on the last one this is why there's a gap here that's where it goes but it is in them it's in the thing down there <laughs> so yeah, I'll be reading that this month. And then we've got a standalone by MJ Arridge, which I've heard really, really great things about, which I am not surprised because, you know, it is who it is. Um, so really loving those. Um, I, I, how many, I really highly recommend The Housemaid and The Housemaid Secret. Um, really enjoyed those. Really enjoyed the Riley Sager ones. These were a gift from Kelsey, which I really enjoyed those. I really enjoyed um, Survive the Night. I think that was incredible. Then we have more fantasies. So we have got like the Game of Thrones back there. We have some like zombie apocalypse ones. Um, Bridget Kemmerer's um, A Curse So Dark and Lonely trilogy. We have the, the Poppy War trilogy, which I really want to read this year. Fingers crossed. I really want to get to it. Like we have A Little Life, which is the most devastatingly beautiful book I have ever read. With A Little Life, it's, it's one of those books that's got so many trigger warnings. You have to be really careful and it's really difficult to recommend that book to anyone. But if you happen to pick it up, it is heartbreaking. It's just a devastating read and it just stays with you. It is one of those, like Jude St. Francis is with me all the time since I read that book and there it is, it is devastating. Then we have um, the Rook and Rose trilogy. I have not read these yet. These are another ones. I went on a chunky book buying because I wanted to get into some more fantasies and these are the ones that I will dive into when I get the time. So we have the Rook and Rose. We have the Greenbone Saga, which I'm really excited about. And then this one, I am really excited for, The Rage of Dragons. This one was a gift by Katie. And I will be, it is on my books I want to read this year. So I'm really excited for that. I, I want to get the next one as well. Um, then we have like some Joe Abercrombie. We have One Dark Window and Two Twisted Crowns. I've heard really great things about this. This was a book from Angela, which is The Seven Sisters. I read the back. It sounds incredible. I can't wait to get to that. We have Filthy Rich Vampire and Powerless. And then down here we have more of... I have an old school smutty Mills and Boons book that I had quite some years ago. Because I used to... Is it in this? Yeah. So there used to be like a little leafletty thing that you could send off to subscribe. And I did. So I used to get loads of Mills and Boons books. And this one is romances set in a this cosy winter cottage. Like cottage cabin type place. And 
it's these two it starts with these two old couples like opening up the uh, opening up the place and being like oh i wonder what what people will get this year this winter and stuff and then it goes to tell you three stories that happen in that cottage and i just thought that it was good um then we have the hunger games trilogy we have some ones that i've i've read i've got some stacy hall that was highly recommended to me by a friend um we have the wild i read that one that was good and um, preferred it over the film because i did watch the film after um the night circus i enjoyed that um the stranger beside me which is the ted bundy one um written by someone that was close to him so you got to see like how it was to be someone that was close to him and find that out about him we have i am hitman which I enjoyed. We have some Terry Pratchett books. We have the Twin Crowns, Cursed Crowns books. I haven't read yet. We have the Luminaries and the Haunting Moon that I have not read yet. We have the Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic. That sounds really, really good. Really, really cosy. I cannot wait to get to that one. This was a Talking with Psychopaths. This was a book that my husband got me from my dog for mother's day um we have the bad ones we have ninth house and hellbent i really loved ninth house i enjoyed that book so much i am looking forward to getting into hellbent because i haven't yet i have my editions of the lord of the rings i i've read these love these uh, I've read them multiple times. I love Lord of the Rings. It's incredible. Then we have my paperback versions of the Winter Night trilogy, which obviously I showed you earlier on. I've got that one special edition of it. And I'm looking forward to getting the next two. And then I'll do a reread. But I I really love the covers of these and how I don't know. I attach memories from when I read them in them. So <laughs> I'll probably keep these as well as the hardbacks. And then we've got The City of Brass, The Kingdom of Copper and The Empire of Gold. I really enjoyed these when I read them. I really want to do a reread, to be fair. There's so many books that I've enjoyed that I want to reread. But I'm like, you've got new books you need to, you know. But these are all of the double shelved paperback books. Shelves? <laughs> and then next to that is my i will start from the bottom and work my way up it is my manga shelves and my middle grade shelves um there is some books on here that was on here but i needed room and then there's my so we'll start at the bottom so this is my harry potter shelves there is a lot to do with like the art of Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series itself, and then the illustration editions of them. I have my little bookend, and then we also have the sorting art that's been in Black Obsidian um, Crystal, which I like, obviously. Um, we have this thing that I got in the Witch Casket. And then <laughs> we have some YA books that I really enjoyed that I still haven't been able to get rid of yet. Um, the You Have Reached Sam broke my heart. The One Memory of Flora Banks was so memorable. All the Bright Places and The Fault in Our Stars made me blubber. So yeah, we have all of those. Then we have, mind the plug, <laughs> we've only got one plug in this room so we have to like double. But we have like Michelle Harrison and like Twinkle and stuff like that up here, which is the middle grade starting of the middle grade then we continue with the middle grade we have some crystals which are in the forms of pokemon because they can't fit on the shelf with the pokemon books <laughs> but yeah we have some crystal pokemons we also have the scander and the unicorn thief books i have got the third one on order we have the nevermore books um i cannot wait to get to the next one of that this series is incredible absolutely love it then we have the green wild by perry thompson this is incredible i loved this it's like uh, surrounded by like botanists and stuff and anything to do with plants i absolutely love so i really enjoyed that middle grade then we have the sophie anderson books and we have the jamie littler 
box, which I absolutely love. Then we go into more of the manga, graphic novels. So we have Paradise Kiss, The Infernal Devices. Um, I have read that. It's a chunker. Berserk, I really need to get volume two of that, but I really want them in these editions and they are very expensive. So I'm excited for that. And then I've got some um, Card Captor Sakura collection editions of those. And then we have a little Snorlax down here. Crystal? We have Pokemons, Pokemons, Pokemons. <laughs> we have a lot of Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Um, I don't know which is Love, Cheerful Amnesia. We have got Toilet Band, Hannah Cocoon. Um, we have um, Comic Can't Communicate. We have um, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. This is a great book. This is... I got into my feelings with this book. This is by the same author. Um, I had that same dream again. This is Trigger Warnings. It's got self-harm in it, so be careful. Um, Orange. I love the Orange series. It's incredible. I absolutely highly recommend the Orange series. Um, we have the Death Note All-in-One book because I just liked the way it was. Uh, to Strip the Flesh, we have manga but Shakespeare <laughs> so these are all Shakespeare's plays but in manga format um I used to pick one up every time we went to Stratford upon a Haven and yeah I just love them then we have Romantic Killer if you have not read any of Romantic Killer I highly recommend we have Sweat and Soap which is weird but adorable at the same time i really enjoyed sweat and soap we have size uh, five centimeters per second and then again obviously my pokemon and then up from there we have the kaijo number eight which i really enjoy this action series i i talk about it a lot on my channel so yeah there's kaijo number eight then there's the spy x family really really love this this is just such a amazing series i um i adore it i adore the manga and i also enjoy the anime it's incredible then there's dandadan i have said a lot about dandadan this is the weirdest um book this is the weirdest manga i have ever read and you know the grannies ghost grannies after a boy's schlong they're they're wording and you know aliens trying to pin down a girl and do stuff but yeah weird but i've read the first two i need to carry it on because i just need to know it's got to that point where you just need to know then there's tokyo Mew Mew. there is kirby uh manga mania there is my special one which is a series i want to start this year we have the ones written by bts which i'm excited for and you get like posters in them um, there is then Jinjuitsu. These two are Jinjuitsu. Then there is more Death Note books. There is the Parasite books, which I can't wait to finish. So they all can be displayed properly. I'll bring them more to the front once I have the complete series. And then we have a whole ton of Jinjuitsu. I, I, I own all of Jinjuitsu's books. So yeah, then we have my little collection of One Piece. I really want to carry on because I love this series. I want to carry on with um, reading One Piece and then the rest are all Bleach. Bleach is my favourite anime series. I cl started collecting it as a young teen and yeah, it's just my favourite. The The series, the like the anime series, the manga series, the, the, I just love them. They did do a lot of filler, like episodes and filler arcs in between which i think loads of people got fed up of but i still i still really love them so yeah so that is all of the shelves here so then we are left with these two so i will start down here so like i say let me move that bin out of the way like I say, we have like all comics um, going along. There is some graphic novels. Um, there's a few colouring books in there that I didn't know where to put. So they're on there until I need the room. There is my um, 
the Hobbit Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game book that if you if you like your Warhammer and stuff, you will know that there is like a Lord of the Rings Hobbit version of of it. So yeah, I like um playing, painting and I'm not ashamed of it. So <laughs> Warhammer. These are all of my Neo magazines. I have mentioned them before. Let me get the latest one out. So that's this is this is this month's one, um, and it's all about um, Japan and the music, the anime, the films, the games, everything that's coming out. Reviews on them. It's just a magazine of goodness. To be fair um but yeah that's i've collected them since i again was a teen and just haven't stopped because why would i <laughs> so yeah that's that's all of them that are there then i have my descender ascender my saga my um 12 percent dread they are all up here these are all graphic novels i highly highly recommend descender which leads into dipped into ascender and the saga graphic novels they are all absolutely incredible love them so much then we have the heart stoppers so i have them in the paperback and the hardbacks um i love them i've got the yearbook as well then we have the judge dread comics I um, really love Judge Dredd and then we have Law Olympus which is the Greek mythology Hades and Persephone retelling and I really enjoy this retelling of them in this graphic novel form. The colour color way of it, each character having a different colour to them is absolutely incredible. So yeah and that, oh my goodness me! <laughs> that is my library. I really hoped that you enjoyed this tour of it you got like book by book and i am exhausted this is my library i hope that you enjoyed your tour and i'll speak to you in a minute when i sit down <laughs> so yeah that is my library room i hope that you enjoyed this little tour and um, sorry i didn't go into too much detail but it's going to be a long video and I was trying to do it as fast as I could and yeah and Beanie wanted attention during it so yeah <laughs> she's still at my feet now but I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that it was what you were wanting and um, sorry I didn't talk too much about the books but at least you got to see what is on my shelves and what I can potentially be reading in the future and obviously I am always adding to this so I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, please subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. The third one in the series, the third one. Oh, let me put my hand. I need to sit down, hold on. Oh, because she know I, blah. I need to take a breath. Um. And then we have, okay, Beanie, <laughs> you can't, come sit down, come sit down on mummy's knee. So, yes, yeah, so down here, we'll start from the bottom of the second lot of, I am covering up the camera, we need to try and film this properly. So these are the next, uh, uh, really, <laughs> come here. The, what else have I read? I've read the deep light, I've really, um, deep, is he has now, I can't get my words out. That was one of my favourites from my October um, vlogs. My October, what was it? What did I call it? Spooky season. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, I'm out of breath. But I don't want this video to be like really long. Then, uh, honestly, I am so out of breath. I need to work on my breathing techniques when talking. So I have two. These ones are these two, but with the nicest. The nicest? that didn't make any sense oh but yeah then we have sisters of short shorts with me and then we have some of my oh my goodness holding this camera up um we have the couple then we have the thorns realm uh, 
um what else do we have we have thread needle i really enjoyed this book this this is a book i really enjoyed that i've just said that that's just the other way around of saying it oh my goodness just so you know this is what i'm i'm faced with <laughs> somebody really wants attention don't you do you want tension i know i not belong i not belong then um would you mind scratching your itch somewhere else please get my foot out of that camera shot can you scratch somewhere else please <laughs> you know self self reflection self-help are you all right over there then we have this shelf um, so we have a lively bit, a livy This jar is full of all the books that I've read this month. Uh, this month, can you imagine? Um, so these ones are all Sebastian de Castel. So you have the spells. Spell, blah, blah, blah. Then we have the Bridgerton series, and then alongside this, I'm getting my breath back. So you you do have the Mortal Instruments and the Infilla. So if you notice the shading of the book on the edges, it's supposed to be like the dis disorient disorient the 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 no the dis dis um, blah, blah, blah. what word am I looking for? Oh my goodness! I keep burping. Oh my goodness! Of this, so what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Oh my goodness! Mm, mm, mm. Plated is it plated? Plated prisoner? Is it? Is it? it is oh my goodness so these are some of my most prized oh my god i can't get in so i am the biggest david attenborough fan there ever did there ever what there ever did um i the emotion this brought but um yeah so we have the priory of the orange tree the illuminate illuminate oh my god so i absolutely love the black magician trilogy why am i going blank and the Southern Books, every time, the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar, let's start there again. Um, then we have the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Then we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar, a little life, the most devastatingly beautiful book I have ever written. I have ever written. This is my paperback versions of The Beer in the Night trilogy no the winter night trilogy um oh my goodness i'm too old for this <laughs> which obviously is the judge red judge, which is the greek mythology um hades and persephone bloody nora 